Now I have a five step approach to hyponatremia. So let us discuss that. First is check serum osmolality. So if it is normal or high, discussion ends here. Because if it is normal or high, we have separate differential diagnosis. So it will not come under two hyponatremia. Second step will be check the patient. If you obvious overloaded patient, this, is, this hyponatremia is due to hypervolemia. Third is check urine osm and serum osm. If urine osm is less than serum osm, then what does it mean is there is a dilute urine, then we have only one diagnosis. That is, it can be primary polydipsia and so on and so forth. Here. Fourth step will be check urine sodium. If urine sodium is less than 20, then we have only one diagnosis that is non-renal cause of hypovolemia. Number five, if urine sodium is more than 20, if it is at this time only, we have to be very careful to differentiate between CHW versus SIADH. That you can do by looking at the volume status or if it is urine sodium is more than 40, it goes more in favor of CHW. If it is more than 20, it's 20 to 40, it goes to SIDH. Check history, meds list, check CT brain for brain pathology. It's only at this point we have an ambiguity. Otherwise, if you follow this 5 formula, we will absolutely reach at a diagnosis.